Yeah, some other books here. Read away. The Sons of the Sun and of the Shadows. Okay. Lieutenant Lope de Vega's account of his astounding travels to the land of the Aztecs. Holy Christ! cried Captain Cortez, astonished by the strange rite we beheld. We found the savages half naked. They were throwing balls of silver and gold at each other. They laughed as if demented, clearly maddened by some heathen drug. And yet, should one of them fail to catch the ball thrown in his direction, the poor devil was seized and dragged off to be sacrificed in their temple. Dragged, seized, and dragged off. You sacrificed my temple. You mean like, you mean like how, uh, you mean like how when Carmi dies, his body gets dragged under the uh, the altar by a zombie. Is that zombie like uh, the the undead body, resurrected body of like some uh, occult person who carries out the friggin' whatever thing sacrificed to Carmi? Makes him the victim, but you know when it's when it's just coming after Carn B, the zombie is just the zombie is just and you know uh, with the arms out and everything. But maybe it's driven to Carn B to do that either way. Just can't control the way it moves besides the arms out and most is, its body decayed, but its mind active and whatever. It's weird, really weird. Overthinking it maybe. As we discovered. This frightful game was a ritual most holy to them. Holy, and yeah. And symbolized the movement Shut of up. the heavenly bodies. Mm. The dropping of a ball. Well, what kind of ritual are you talking about here? Catastrophe. I mean, are you, are you still talking Aztecs about the one with the sacrifice? Because, holy their my ass. In their godless ignorance, their countless deities could only be appeased through endless human sacrifices. The victim's heart, which was still beating, lay in the hand of the murderous priest. Victim's heart, which was still beating, lay in the hand of the murderous priest. This, what is this, a pirate's voice? Pirates frequented, frequented the area. Is the pirate's voice for pirates? Devil worshippers? I don't know, maybe... maybe I mean, I, I was, it's, it's not too hard to imagine that at least some of them were. I mean, you know, you know whatever pirates have whatever kinds of kinds of religious beliefs, just as whatever gangsters might have whatever religious beliefs. Or, you know, probably some shit like that. The interior of the temple was surprisingly cool. The cave, the weight cold of our and armor, repugnant, or exhaustion. Even the burden of our suffering. They were all banished by a sense of awe that the crudely magnificent altar instilled. In the tomb-like silence, a deep voice chanted an incantation. The majestic statue of the water goddess, Chal Chi Huitlique, seemed to throb with vitality. This massive stone, draped in a golden cloak, and studded with precious stones, was coming to life before our very eyes. Horror of horrors! The granite eyes of the statue, empty of life only moments before, were now injected with blood. We staggered back in amazement. Dom Jose was taken by a fit of convulsions. He tried to raise up his crucifix, as if to ward off an attack by demons. The heathen priest laughed cruelly. The statue's mouth cracked open in a deathly grin, bearing teeth sharpened to dagger points. Captain Cortez cried, Attack! But it was no juice. We were glued. To the spot. Why?
Despite our efforts, we were unable to move. Our armor seemed to be bolted to the temple floor. Our legs weakened, and we collapsed in a thunder of steel. Only Cortez had the presence of mind to unsheathe his dagger. He hurled it at the cackling priest. Four inches of the finest Toledo steel buried itself in the heathen's face. His blood spurted, splashing the now lifeless idol. We picked ourselves up with difficulty. Armor seemed to be bolted to the floor. Haunted armor statue. Never will I forget that terrible moment. My companions, naturally enough, told tales of devilish enchantments cast upon our armor. Whatever the truth of that, I could not deny that the supreme god of the fourth universe had treated us as mere playthings. I am convinced that a terrible energy is yet contained within that hidden statue. A power strong enough to change a proud conquistador into a helpless puppet. Statue? Golden statue? Like... Like in that room with the with the the, the bushes around it, uh, the, where there was a statue in the middle, and where the spiders came down. Drawing of, well, is that supposed to be the picture of that? Did they say goddess? A drawing of a goddess. That looks like a that looks like a hallway with like a door at the end. That doesn't look like some kind of being. Or entity, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Jose de Sierra, done before the destruction of the Aztec Temple of Tenochtitlan. Something. Hmm. 